fam. Hasn't been a stellar week for me on the bike. Tuesday was probably the best ride that I had all week. Wednesday, just as I was suiting up, it starts pouring down raining. Thursday, I get four and a half miles into my ride and it starts pouring down raining. Friday, I finally get out and I get a ride, but my dumb behind has been playing with my cleat position. I moved my right foot, was fine, I moved that. I think that was the only cleat that I needed to be adjusted, but then I went ahead and adjusted my left cleat and that was a very bad and painful idea. Friday, my knee was just killing me. I stopped twice trying to find the right position, just couldn't find it. The second time I stopped, I ended up flattening my rear tire. The last seven or eight miles home, I just didn't have any power in my left leg. And it made for a very, very painful ride home. Yesterday wasn't bad actually, except again, I fought a brutal 12 to 14 mile per hour headwind. But the good news is my black bibs came in. Super dope, super stoked about those. I wore them yesterday. They felt great, so I can't wait to take them out on a long ride. Today, man, my legs just feel heavy. I don't really know, y'all. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take two or three days off and then ease myself back into it later in the week. Sometimes, fam, you got to know when to take, give your body a, a break. Rest is an important part of training. You got to train efficiently. And you got to rest efficiently, fam. You can check out some of these cool graffiti murals behind and check that out. That's dope. I pass this all the time, but it's my first time actually stopping and checking it out. It's Sunday. I just wanted to get a nice little ride in, hit my mileage goal. I was five, five miles away. So I'm gonna hit my mileage goal, man. So let's get the rest of this work in. Hurricane Harvey came through in 2016, and we still feel the effects of it. You know, when I stop riding, the wind feels great, but when I'm riding, I hate the wind. It gets on my nerves. It's really a gorgeous day out today, though. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't want you to take my little rant earlier as me just having a pissy attitude and just not enjoying the opportunity to be able to ride and just to be able to do this. That wasn't my intention, but, Oh, my bike fell. <laughs> Excuse me. Wind down here so strong it knocked my bike over. Anyway, that wasn't my intention. I want my videos to be real life. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not every day, not every ride is a good ride. Not every week is a good week. Sometimes your body just doesn't feel it. Sometimes things don't, don't go your way. Sometimes stuff really sucks. I'm not gonna put up an act and try to pretend every day is just great, cause it's not. But one thing we do is we keep waking up and we keep going at it and we persevere. Just because I had one bad week or one bad day or one bad ride, that's not a reason to quit. And that just goes for anything, man. Just because you have one bad day or one bad week, that's not a reason to stop it. Keep going, keep getting after it. You don't know what tomorrow yields. You don't know how the next day is gonna go. You don't know what could happen. You don't. You don't have the future in your control. I think COVID-19 showed us all of that. Sorry if I was a little just, if I seemed to be like I was just in the mood, I guess. I've been tired, but it's gonna all get better. The Lord lets me see another week. It's another opportunity to continue to get better, continue to work, and to just enjoy, enjoy life, fam. So I hope you enjoyed the vid, fam. I can't forget my brothers, the horsemen. My boy Crit Wit, and my boy Al Too Smooth. We got some things in the works. Just sit back, man. It's three days later. I have not touched the bike. Well, I ain't gonna lie, I did touch the bikes because I switched bikes. I'm now on Sade for about the next week and a half. It's kind of like my little rotation I got for them. Trying to put more miles on Sade and kind of fill out and stuff like that. It's Thursday and last night I found out that I lost one of my KOMs. So today, baby, guess what? We KOM chasing. So let's go get this ride in. And before I forget, we also are going to go check out one of my friend's projects. My day job is in architecture and construction. I design and 
you know, build houses. Been doing that for almost 10 years. We we're going to go walk a house that's under construction that one of my friends is working on because I love walking houses that are under construction. So you guys are coming with me. Let's go get it in. y'all so we have made it to the hood and we are walking what is going to be a new rental all right so look at that chimney there old chimney it's the thing i love about old houses you find stuff so let's see what we got going on here. So my boy said that, so this is the, this is going to be the master bath where we're standing in right now with this exposed brick chimney in it. I'm not sure what that is back there. I think that might be a utility room. I'm not sure. But we got, this is the master bedroom right here. Let's see got transom window there. Over there is the front door. Old water heater. <laughs> so this is the living room that we're standing in right now. By the way, this is an old shotgun house. I think she was built back in the 50s or 60s. You can see Sade back there chilling. So right here. So we have the living room here. I believe this is the kitchen. That's another bed. That's another bathroom right there that we're looking at. See, there's a shower in there. This is a shower. This is probably where the toilet is. Not sure exactly where they have the sink. That looks like a pantry. So yeah. Okay, so I know what this is. This is the second bedroom. Yeah second bedroom and that right there is the closet for the second bedroom so nice little two bedroom two bath house on the north just north of downtown houston literally they were like five minutes from downtown when i step outside i'll show you guys the skyline like literally uh my friends a lot of my friends uh buy properties in this area and uh, this area has actually become a pretty hot area. So, so, uh, so yeah, man. I love walking construction sites. I love walking old houses. Um, this is a dope one. I like the little layout that he came up with for it. It's pretty dope. So, uh, he's supposed to meet me here, but fingers got crossed. <laughs> I'm gonna send this video to him when it's finished and tell him, hey, man, I was gonna feature you on the channel, but. You missed that? <laughs> so yeah, man. That's what we got here. Let's continue to ride. Oh, remember I told y'all, we're like five minutes from downtown. You can see there's a newer house down the street over there. Fell off in the distance. You saw in the video earlier. That was Kelly Village. That high rise you see peeking over the top right. Well, you can see the other one right there. See, that's downtown Houston, right over there. That's where I'm about to head right now so let's continue to ride right on the other side of those railroad tracks is where i'm going to try to get back my kom that somebody took from me. all right so kom efforts done i forgot how light this bike is compared to redbone i was in a 50 15 i hit 30 I hit 31 miles an hour easily i ran out of road but <laughs> i hit that pretty easily so i got another straight shot through downtown see if i can push the pace on that joint a little bit speed baby speed you see on my face is not because it was a hard ride it's because 
I crashed. <laughs> I might have crashed. I came off the curb and uh, slid on my jersey. That sucks. I think bikes okay. Looks like I just knocked the chain loose. Ouch. The bike appears to be fine. I got the chain readjusted. Good thing I landed on the non-drive side, so I don't have to worry about any damage to the derailleur. I don't know what happened. I guess I wasn't, I don't think I was paying attention. And I, I rode too close to the edge and I just happened to, to catch. See, see how the grass kind of down there, it's kind of up closer to the curb, but then you get around this curve right here and it kind of takes a dip. And I hit that dip. I tried to stay calm because I've done that before. And sometimes I've just been able to kind of like stay calm and, and glide the bike back onto the pavement. But in this case, because, because there's such a dip there, I couldn't glide it back onto the pavement. I probably should have just glided it back off the grass and unclipped one side. Finished. What an interesting ride. Got a crash, a couple sprints. I even passed the car. Not a bad ride for being off the bike for three days. As you saw earlier in the video, I was uh, being a little B. <laughs> but I was working and I, I, I didn't take proper rest. I've been focused uh, more this week on making sure I get to bed at the time that I said I wanna to go to bed and making sure that I'm getting my rest in. I definitely felt the difference in my legs today and on the bike. You know, the main thing that I just wanna reiterate, uh, like I said earlier in the video, man, you know, what you do off the bike is just as important as what you do on the bike. It's just like my coach used to tell us in football, what you do off the field affects what you do on the field. You know, they talked about what you do in the classroom, what you do, you know, just out in everyday life, what you're eating, you know, what you're putting into your body, you know, uh, how much sleep you're getting, all of that stuff affects your performance. So if you really want to perform, fam, you know, it takes discipline and you got to make sure that you're doing the right things off and on the bike so that you can see results. That's just my little tidbit, you know, giving you uh, some of the, uh, the knowledge that my coaches used to say to us. You know, one of the things they used to tell us, one of the things my defensive coordinator used to say all the time, he used to tell us, it's not the elephants that get you beat, it's the ants and the mosquitoes. I used to think he was crazy. And then I realized what he was saying. It's the little things that get you beat. We're gonna head home and uh, I don't know if this is how I wanna end the vlog or not, I don't know. But uh, my seat feels a little loose. So when I get back to the house, I'm, I'm going and uh, break up my tools and and tighten it up because I think when I fell, I might have loosened it just a little bit. So, and I'm gonna just check the bike. So, if this is the end, I just wanna tell y'all to get out there and get the miles in, man. Put the work in, you know. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. And that includes you. Don't listen to the voices in your head telling you you can't do it. Get out there and do it. God created you, you don't know what he put inside you. And some of those things, you have to dig deep to pull them out. I'm no overnight cyclist. Peace.